Okay, good evening everybody. This is my first uh, effort to do uh, a small uh, screencast. So I would like to show you something uh, in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is an, a free and open source project to have a CAD system. Um, it's quite powerful, it's open source. Uh, the developers uh, gave some talk on FOSDEM this year and I they really inspired me. So here's my small effort to help them advance in this great project. I'm gonna show you something I made uh, f for a three, f to, to 3D print. It's a container to, to hold a, a, another appliance. But um, basically, uh, we're gonna make a simplified version here. We're gonna make two or two, at least one cylinder container with holes in it because it has to be able to, to uh, let the wind through. So we're gonna make a new project. As I already told you, it's gonna be a cylinder. I'm gonna rotate it, scale it out because its default settings are way too small. Let's give it this thing a, dia a diameter and a height. 150, okay, this is a good starter. I'm gonna make a second one. This is gonna be wait a second one I said. Wait twenty-eight height hundred forty-nine and we're gonna place it position Z one up. Okay. So you you you, you soldering, you come here. So now I'm gonna say outer control inner and we're going to take a difference and you see we have a shell. I'm going to rename this shell F2 or just right click rename both are possible. You can see, you can even give it a color if you want to, but I'll just leave it gray for now. The bottom is closed as you see, this is just what as, as I wanted. So um, now I want to make a hole in this thing. So. I'll just, whatever kind of shape, I'll, I'll take a cube shape. Where is the hole? Ah, it's down there, okay. So I'm gonna position it just with my mouse. As, okay. This is one hole. And I'll take the occasion to show you one little thingy that I really like about about uh, free cat some some simple things so you can you have here a fillet and a camphor too camphor is like a flat edge uh, fillet is a, a rounded edge so i want to fill it this line this line this line and this line i'll give the diameter of two and a half okay See now I have this nice rounded squ square hole, but now I want uh, so I'll call this you see F2 hole, and now I'm gonna draft something with this because I want to have uh, possibly these tools are hidden. You see, possibly by default it might be here, and you and you won't see all of these tools but I just moved it down so you can see all of them and this is the uh, array tool I'm gonna make an array you have two kind of two kinds of arrays you have an orthogonal and a polar array for the first one I'm gonna make a polar array and I want uh, well, let's say eight holes or nine whatever and as you see so that now just nine holes go in a circle around the middle. Okay, I'm gonna rename this ring of holes. And now I'm gonna make a second array. This this way you'll clearly see the difference between the orthogonal and the uh, polar array. Because I'm now I'm gonna say I want a Z interval to be 15. The, the, the box was size 10 or may, maybe even just 12.5 12 and a half 
and I'm gonna say in the Z axis okay I don't want any movements in this direction but I do want a few in in the Z axis as you see here they come if you want to rotate them a little bit you can say okay I'm gonna give them also a small oops not not as I wanted it this is just, I never ne never tried this before a little bit too close to my to my tasting so I'll increase this okay there's too much it's too, just one too much let's see and maybe we'll, we will decrease this with one millimeter okay and this is now I'll rename this grid of holes and now what we, we will want to do is again go back to our parts uh, library select the first uh, item second item and again we're going to take a difference it has this one is a big job because it takes quite a while to cal calculate it um, and I don't have the, the most beefy computer so anyway uh, this program actually consists of uh, a Python environment that allows you to also do things using a program but this is a whole other story and look what we have now is this great cylinder with all the holes now if you uh, export it oh, okay of course I want to export this item I want to file export it now I select uh, mesh formats STL I'm gonna call it okay I'll put it on my desktop for now tube with holes uh, save it and I have my my beginning for my 3d print printing project so this is just uh, a small workshop I hope you enjoyed it and uh, depending on the feedback and my time I might even make some new uh, podcasts or video screencasts in the future have a nice day